This is kind of a summary of where we are at General Conference uh, 2020 postponed and taking place in 2024. This is a, a unique General Conference because this is uh, a recovery after disaffiliation. There is a unity, I think, <clears throat> among all the, all the delegates, respect for each other, and uh, welcoming some levels of change. We aren't sure in what direction that's going to go. All of that takes place in the legislative committees first, and then in the plenary to, be, uh, to approve it or to amend what comes out of the legislative committee. So we won't know that kind of work until uh, late this week when the legislative committees have completed their work. And of course, next week is in the plenary. There is hope, I think, among the, the delegates. There is uh, a recognition that we've gone through tough times. Uh, but we're, we're fairly unified, I think, uh, in trying to reorganize ourselves to make disciples uh, throughout the world. Uh, there is a strong recognition uh, of the importance of the central conferences. Uh, many of our speeches are, are in that, uh, that vein. And uh, some important recognitions of the youth uh, that has come out, I think, in uh, some of the speeches today. Some, uh, we've heard some of the, some of the best. Uh, I think the uh, presentation, uh, the Episcopal address is the best I've ever heard. Uh, and uh, the youth presentation is the best I've ever heard. Uh, obviously, they've had a long time to prepare for it, uh, but they're really on point. And uh, trying to get people to understand that uh, we need some uh, spiritual guidance, we need to listen, uh, and we need to uh, reduce our conversations among ourselves and, and listen to the higher power of God uh, and to make plans for uh, the future. One uh, speaker made a point that really the decisions we're going to make here is something that might affect the next seven generations, not just what we're doing today or what might be happening between now and the next general conference, but look far ahead uh, and to be on track, uh, to trust each other, uh, to have respect for each other. And uh, I, think, I think it is optimistic, uh, is the sense that I get compared to, I think, just the normal course of business in uh, general conferences of the past. This really is a different one. Uh, because we aren't just merely working for what's going to happen over the next four years. We're looking at uh, the last uh, eight years, uh, ten years, uh, and seeing if we can do things a little bit differently uh, to really get uh, the motivation, uh, the dedication, uh, the honesty, the clarity, and the integrity that we need uh, to move forward together. And uh, I'm hopeful. I think, uh, I think we're taking some really uh, good steps here. Uh, legislation is going to be a little bit messy, but it always is. Uh, but I think the heart is there uh, among the delegations, more so than what I have seen in the past.